All right, now Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update for the health application, which adds some brand new features. Now, if you're into fitness and you track your exercises, steps running on the Galaxy Watch and the Samsung health application, then you will be excited to see these new features which are being added. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at them. Let me show you the version number first. You see the latest version is 6.26.5.017. Uh, the update was released on 7th March 2024. Now, in the change log, you can see some brand new features mentioned. Now, these features may already be available on your health application version so if you already have it then you may not get this update and if you haven't got these features you will be receiving this brand new update now the first point here is compete against your past running results to try beating your previous time and crop exercises after you finish to remove any unnecessary time at the beginning or end now we get an option to crop the exercises after we finish the exercise and we can also compete against our past running results now let me show you how this works let me open the application here. Now let me tap on running. Now you see here, we have got an option to set the target. When I tap on this, we have got a bunch of options here. Now in this, uh, we have got this race against past results, which is a brand new option. We will be able to race against our past results by setting this option as a target. That is the first one. Now let me go back. Now here, let me tap on workouts this week. Now let me select any of the workouts here. I will select this particular workout. Now here, when I tap on this three dot button, I get this option called crop workout. I can tap on this to remove all the unnecessary workout timings that we have got in this particular stretch of workout. You can see we've got the slider. We can use this to edit the workout timing uh, and tap on save. We'll be able to remove the unnecessary time wasted on this particular workout. That's how it works. Now let me go back to the change lock here. It says you now have more options for setting your daily activity targets. If you don't really use step goals, change to floors climbed or active hours instead. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this feature. Let me open the application. Now here we have got the daily targets. Let me tap on this particular option here. This is where we have got daily activity. I can tap on this three dot button to set targets. I will tap on set targets. Now you see we have got motion target, time target and calories. Now what I'll do is I'll tap on motion targets. This is where we get to set the steps target. And now here you can see we also have floor options, active hours option. Now, if you don't want to set the steps target, you can select the floor target or you can select the active hours target. Now I track my steps, so I will leave it to steps. If you want to change them, you can go ahead and change them. I can also tap on this icon here to increase the steps target uh, right here. I can go on increasing the target here by scrolling up. Now this is just insane, isn't it? So if you want to walk up to 50,000 steps a day, then you can set this target. My daily target is a minimum of 6,000 steps. Uh, you guys let me know what is your steps target a day. Drop a comment. Now I'll just tap on save here. Now let me go back to the change log again. This third new feature is for Woman. Uh, it says when you log your menstrual cycle, options you have used frequently will appear at the top of the screen. Also set custom moods if the default options don't match how you're feeling. Now that is the third feature which has been added on Samsung Health on the Galaxy phone. Now what are your thoughts about this update? Have you already received it? Drop a comment and let me know. Samsung Health is a brilliant application which all the Galaxy users should make use of. Even if you don't have a Galaxy watch or any Samsung or any other fitness band, you will still be able to track your activities, track your steps, set your fitness goal, etc on this application. You can also see we've got this fitness option here wherein we can get some training for our activities, our exercises. This is something which you guys must explore and make use of. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. Go ahead, check it out. Every video that I post will have a brand new wallpaper almost every day, I would say. And the widget links are also in the description. I see most of you guys asking about this particular widget. This is a widget pack called One UI KWGT from a KWGT pack. You need to have a KWGT Pro key and you need to buy this particular pack uh, to install these kind of widgets. That's about it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.